CRJ got cookies in my Reese's peanut butter cup. CRJ put peanut butter cups in my cookie. Damn right I did. We're making Reese's peanut butter cup cookies. Yeah, it was me doing those voices. Actors are expensive. So support me on Patreon, link in the description. Okay, now for this recipe, bust out the stand mixer with the paddle attachment. Let's start off by adding in two eggs and beat them on medium. All right, after they're mostly beaten, let's add a cup and a half of brown sugar. And add one half cup of white sugar. Blend these together on low. And while the mixer is running, pour in one cup or two sticks of unsalted butter melted. You might need to increase the speed for this. Okay, let's decrease the speed of it. Let's add half a teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. And let's add two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Yeah. Don't worry, this stuff's pure. All right, and for our next step, scrape down the sides of the bowl. Okay, and the start of the show, let's add 12 ounces of Reese's Pieces diced. Uh, let's back up a bit first. Like I just said, you're gonna need about uh, 12 ounces or so of Reese's peanut butter cups. Now, some of you saying, how can I buy that many Reese's Pieces? Simple. In bulk. Where can I buy it? In bulk. Well, simple, Costco. But not just any Costco. A business center Costco. Oh, best part, if you already have a Costco membership card, you can shop here too. Um, not sponsored by the way. Let's go in. Yeah, I'm filming this on my phone. Uh, some places are kind of iffy if you shoot with a big DSLR camera. Now, sure, at first glance, it seems like a normal Costco. But it's anything but, let me show you. Need to count bribe money? Costco's got you covered. Say chow to your chow with bulk pizza boxes. So much soda, you can swim in it. That might be a good recipe. Jot that down later. They also sell huge whole body lambs for roasting. Alhamdulillah to that. But what if you're not into the halal stuff and you're a fake Arab who spits in the face of their culture daily, like me? Don't worry, Costco business got you covered. A huge whole pig for roasting. Oh, but my favorite part? They have a giant walk-in refrigerator the size of a high school gymnasium. Let's go inside. Now, this place has the typical selection of meat as you expect, but... How about a big-ass hunk of Spanish ham? With carving board included. How about butter the size of paint cans? Not sold? How about a giant Parmesan cheese the size of my face? Oh, and uh, don't stay in there too long, otherwise you'll die of hypothermia. Anyway, totally worth it. Let's continue. They're selling soy sauce for $31 a pack. How big are these packs? The gallon-sized jug? A twin pack of the gallon-sized jug? Nope. Giant Home Depot-sized containers of soy sauce for just 31 bucks. Okay, 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 let me get back on topic. You want to buy the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups from here. And look, there they are. One box of Reese's Peanut Butter Cups should be enough to cover you. Um, not sponsored, by the way. But um, if a Costco business center isn't near you, uh, I'll link some in the description. And yes, you will have to individually unwrap these and place them in a bag. Be a man, do the work. So let's chop up these pieces. Now some of you might be saying, can't I just chop this up in a food processor? You can, but 
it's going to result in some sort of tacky paste instead of the chunks we want. Knife, cutting board, bowl, that's all you need. Also, I kind of have fun doing this. Uh, anyway, so yeah, 12 ounces of Reese's Pieces into the mixer. All right, turn this speed to high. Okay, I kind of made a mess here, but um, but that's important because you don't want to overwork the dough once you add the Reese's Pieces. I want my cookies to have some contrast and some texture, instead of just being some bland, peanut butter flavored, sugary lump. Take the bowl, cover in saran wrap, and refrigerate this for one hour. That should be enough time to clean up the mess I made. Okay, before we take care of the dough, preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Are guns banned in your country for public safety, but somehow teen drinking isn't? The number you're looking for is 190 degrees Celsius. Okay, it's been an hour. Our dough is rock solid. So grab yourself a dish here about uh, two tablespoons in size. Grab a scoop of our dough, place it down on the parchment. Oh, a quick word on for me. Make sure there's an inch of space between each ball of dough. Because these cookies are going into a hot oven and they're gonna melt and expand. And you don't want these melting into each other like some sort of cookie Picasso painting. Mm. Oh look, leftover cookie dough. Eh, salmonella's worth it. Stick our cookies in the middle of our 375 degree oven. And let them cook for 20 minutes. Okay, our cookies are done baking. And uh, this is why the long parchment sheet. Grab it and slide our cookies onto some cooling racks. Grab this little parchment. Yep. Um, ignore that. Now, I know I say this every time I make cookies, but it really, really, really is worth repeating, especially if you're a newbie. Now, if our cookies look, if our cookies look done in the oven, but here's the thing, they're still cooking. By the time they cool down, they become overcooked, hard and crunchy. And once you do, there's not gonna be enough milk in the world to make this cookie chewy again. Oh, and the reason why you're supposed to use a cooling rack because, well, ugh, the pan's still hot. Oh, and uh, the reason why you need to use a cooling rack and not let them cool down on the pan is because if you do, the pan will continue to cook the cookies and you'll end up turning them rock solid and overcooked. They only become good for replacing your clay saucers for when you go shooting your shotgun, which is the exact tool I'm going to use on the chef who keeps doing these mistakes. Now you know better, let these cool. And once they cool down, our Reese's peanut butter cup cookies are ready to bite into. Now some of you might be wondering, what am I going to do with the leftover peanut butter cups I did not end up using? Am I going to give them the trick-or-treaters? Hell no! This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button. If you really enjoyed the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Over on that spring batter all over the place wasn't the only mishap that happened. You want to see other bloopers? Uh, sign up on Patreon.